How's it going everyone? Jax here going another AZ1 for you. Another one edition of buy and today we are covering Alone in the Dark. Got some limited goods here so let's get into it. Firstly of course you have the standard edition and so far there is no news of a physical pre-order bonus. But if you pre-order digitally you will get the Deceto 1992 costume pack. Basically this is literally an old school as blocky skin representing how the characters looked in the original. And you can use these instead of the new graphically enhanced characters. This is honestly one of the better crack up pre-order bonus I've seen, but it's also actually awesome for people who have nostalgia for the game. I will also quickly mention just in general, you get the Alone in the Dark prologue as well with the standard edition. The standard edition is coming in just close enough to a usual AAA price. Now for the deluxe edition, this is titled a digital deluxe edition, which usually means they have no intention of making a physical version. But with it, you get the prologue just like the standard, and it also has the same costume pack as the pre-order bonus. But additionally, you get a vintage horror filters pack, which is literally just like putting some classic horror screen filters over your gameplay and a director's commentary mode which is like it says you can play through with overlaying commentary from the game's director the digital deluxe edition is only slightly more expensive than the standard now for the collector's edition now you get everything previously mentioned in the digital deluxe edition as well as a glow alone in the dark steelbook case which is as clean as they get you also get a Do Not Disturb door hang sign, a Dorsetto 1930 wall sticker set, a Start Day 4 inch statue, and the main event is the Dark Man 10 inch statue. The statues are sick in this collector's edition, but the MVP has to be this steelbook case. But the most important thing I do have to mention on this collector's edition is it is restricted to 5,000 units worldwide. So you will have to be quick. This game is a classic, so I really predict that this is going to sell out fast. With that, the collector's edition is coming in at a heavy premium price. All right, guys, an interesting one here. If you're asking me if I was getting alone in the dark, I would probably get the digital deluxe edition because it's only $10 more and I would like to have the filters. But if you're not that bothered over the filters and commentary, then really just get the standard. But if I had nostalgia for this game, this is one of the collector's editions that I could say would probably get me. Because as of right now, there's no other way to get that steelbook case, which would normally mean that there's only 5,000 of those steelbook cases in the world, which makes it extremely collectible. Now, that's one of the things that could change you could see them release steelbooks later with other physical editions but if they've advertised it as this just 5,000, you don't think they will and you have to trust them on that and if i trust them on that they'd probably have me here all right guys hopefully i've been able to help with that one and i'll catch you in the next one peace